Hello and welcome to today's crypto tutorial where I'll be taking a look at Chainex's DAP which is the web wallet that now looks like Polkadot quite a lot. They've done a lot of integration recently, a lot of updates. It's more user friendly. It's really cool. It's really fast. I love it. You know, I've been using it now. Unfortunately, I don't own that much PCX but I do plan to get more hopefully on the next pullback. I'm just waiting for Bitcoin to drop in price because it's overpriced at the moment, over 30k. There's been no pullback whatsoever. It is due to come. When it comes, all the ults are going to dump and that's the time to get in in my personal opinion again not financial advice do check the disclaimer of the description but we're going to take a look to see how chainx have changed their dap like it's really really cool at the moment you're gonna like it too uh, when we have a look at it and again it's gonna be a big year for chainx this year actually before summer we're gonna see a lot of integrations with chainx they want to be applying to get that parachain slot on kusama they're going to be airdropping pcx holders at the moment they're gonna be airdropping them the equivalent of pcx for kusama too on a one-to-one -one ratio so there's a lot of bullish news with pcx with chainx uh, because that's the name of the project pcx is the coin so yeah i'm very very bullish on them i know that they're a bridge that are going to be linking bitcoin to polkadot so they, they're playing a very important role also the developer the cold core developer of chainx is actually friends with gavin what he's been helping polkadot he's been helping the polkadot ecosystem quite a lot i know they've been at a conference together like quite some time ago there were some photos going around on the web3 foundations uh, medium page so yeah i'm very very bullish on this project it does have a lot of potential i was doubtful at first just because of the website it didn't really look like you know it's something that you could trust but then after doing more research into this project after seeing the progress yes i i do have to say that i am very bullish on chainx i do think it has a lot of upside potential but let's not waste any more time and before that my name is claudio if you're new here and this is crypto chain the channel where i do crypto news reviews tutorials and interviews so please hit that subscribe button and enable notifications also like the video if you enjoyed it or dislike if you don't and leave a comment below telling me what you think of the video i would very much appreciate that but let's not waste any more time and now finally talk about chainx right so this is how it looks this is the main page here once you go to daps.chainx.org again the link can be found in the pinned comment of this video but probably the most important part of chainx is the staking option right because the staking payout is quite high at the moment is like 42 percent i've asked in their telegram group uh, it is going to get halved at some point okay so just keep that in mind it's not going to be 42 percent all the time because the total supply of pcx is 21 million exactly the same as bitcoin you're not going to see more than 21 million unless there's going to be some kind of proposal which the community is going to vote in favor of, right? Because everything on Polkadot, if you haven't been following the Polkadot ecosystem, everything that's on Polkadot does have democracy, which means that the holders can actually vote on proposals. The developers propose and the voters, the holders of PCX have to uh, vote and they can vote with different voting power based on uh, their holdings and for how long they want to lock their, their coins, right? Because they need to lock them. They don't have to lock them, but they can so without locking your coins you do actually need to spend you only get like 0.1x voting power and you're still gonna have them locked for the duration of the proposal when the proposal expires you can claim your coins back but if you want to vote with more voting power you need to lock them for a certain period of time aside from the proposal time frame so that's just something to keep in mind but in order to stay here it's very very easy i mean i've never seen a tool so easy to stake on right you basically go into the staking option here you see all the different validators and validators are all the nodes that are that are basically running executing transactions on chainx right uh, they're basically checking those transactions so here we can see the different blocks the different stake that they've got as well uh, this is the full stake their own stake each of the validators have staked this much and it's very easy all you have to do right let's say for example uh, you want to uh, go here like i've personally staked on olympus pool like i've chatted to this guy quite a bit he runs a node uh, here so basically what you do is you go here vote and then this is my extension as we can see here it tells me how much i've got transferable okay i have actually staked already so i'm going to show you that in a moment but uh, basically all you do here is you enter the amount that you want to stake you click on vote you sign the transaction with your password and once you do that then that's it i mean you're staked and where can you see that you're staked well you go to staking you go to my staking 
and here we can see that I've staked to Olympus pool, okay? And then it shows me how much interest I've accumulated since I've started staking. I've only started staking yesterday, so 24 hours, I've already generated this much for uh, 29.5 PCX. So again, I can claim interest at any point, apparently. I can unbound at any point, but I need to wait three days before I'm gonna see my PCX in the available balance in the assets section to be able to transfer them over to an exchange, for example, if I wanna sell them. So that's something to keep in mind. Now rebound is used for switching from one validator to another, which means from one node to another because maybe you're not happy with Olympus pool anymore, maybe you want to go to someone else, so you can do that. So that is pretty cool and then you can add more if you go to vote here uh, and to add more to the same stake if you decide to buy more PCX. Now if we go to the manage section here, we can see the democracy section, we can see the council, the treasury, so all of these are basically the exact same as uh, we've seen with the Polkadot wallet, with the Kusama wallet. If we go here to the treasury section, there is a tips option here. So the treasury is basically um, all the different proposals. There are no pending proposals here at the moment. But if we go to the tips section, I have actually submitted a video that I've done on Chainx. Here it is pending in the tip section. You can see that there are two other ones here that have been submitted. So not many submissions here. Again, if you wrote any articles or have supported the Chainx community in any way, you could just, you know, submit that here, you know, the article, and then maybe people are gonna be tipping you. Why not? You know, like this guy here, he got um, 10 PCX tipped, but I'm not sure exactly if, if it was just 10, because maybe it just shows the latest tipper, because we can see here there was somebody that tipped 150, somebody that tipped one, so I think it was just like, showing you the latest tipper has been 10 PCX, but he's already got 151 here from other tippers. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, right? Now, um, if we go to the DEX here, this is one of the cool features of Chainx. Uh, this wasn't actually here before, at least I didn't see it in the old wallet. Uh, but basically what you can do here, uh, it doesn't seem to work at the moment, right? But it will work when they're gonna be integrating probably. Is basically you can, uh, or maybe it does work, but maybe I'm just not doing something right because I'm, I'm getting this option as grayed out here, but we can see there are transactions in this area here. Basically, you can swap your PCX uh, for XBTC, and XBTC is again that uh, token which is pegged to Bitcoin's price, but it's gonna be used on Polkadot, right? So that's where Chainx comes into place. That's where Chainx is going to be bringing Polkadot uh, into, uh, or not Polkadot, it's gonna be connecting Bitcoin to Polkadot. Right, that's where the bridge, that's where that's where it's gonna create that bridge between the two, right? So here you can see it's gonna be using this DEX in order to generate those kind of XBTC uh, tokens. And again, with Akala Network, you can actually use XBTC as collateral in order to request a loan. Again, you do need to pay that 5% fee, but it just shows you how it all comes together, right? This whole ecosystem for Polkadot, Chainx and Akala. Akala is gonna focus on DeFi, Chainx is gonna be the bridge you know, and then the Polkadot is gonna have all the different parachains. All those different parachains are gonna be interoperable with each other. You're gonna be able to transfer NFTs from one parachain to another, if they have NFTs, right? So it's it's absolutely great, right? It could be documents, it could be other stuff, right? So here we can see how this whole ecosystem is gonna be growing and growing and growing. It's in development at the moment, but you could just imagine in a number of years, this ecosystem could be huge. So this is where you could see the potential for Polkadot. Again, Akala, Chainx, I'm really bullish on these projects. Now, unfortunately with PCX uh, or Chainx, you cannot store it on a ledger device. Uh, I have done a tutorial on how you can store Dot and Kusama on a ledger. So do check that out. I've actually done that video yesterday. If you're interested to know how you can store uh, with a ledger, but you cannot do that with Chainx yet. Hopefully they're gonna be integrating it because other projects are not integrated either uh, with, the, with the ledger, except for Polkadot and Kusama. They're the only ones at the moment, but all they'll have to do really is just add the feature here to, to use ledger. And then once they'll do that, then you'll be able to, to, uh, to integrate it. There's the developer section here too, if you're interested and so on. Chain scan is basically the blockchain explorer for Chainx where you can see the transactions, the blocks, etc. So yeah, very, very simple to use as you can see here. Again, they've integrated into the um, browser extension of the Polkadot wallet. So if you download the Polkadot JS browser extension, you, you probably created an account there like I did. So if you do that, then you can basically just connect that to your uh, Chainx wallet here to be able to access your account. And of course, you're gonna get a Chainx address, which is totally different from your Polkadot or Kusama addresses. They're all independent. Each 
Each project, each live network on Polkadot has a unique public address, so that's something to keep in mind. There are probably going to be new people that are going to get confused with that and they're going to make a mistake and send their Kusama to a Polkadot address or vice versa. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Make sure you copy, always copy that public address uh, from the specific live network and use that. But that's it from today's video. Let me know what you think. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.